curious, George. I hate multiplying bi binomials with FOIL. I have this polynomial with more than two terms, but there aren't enough letters in FOIL. Rachel, the rectangle to the rescue. I have just the solution. You should use an area model. Area model? What's that? It's a rectangular model for multiplying polynomials. It's generalizable to any size polynomial, and it's all based on the arrays you used in third grade to multiply integers. Hmm, curious George remembers how to multiply integers. I think we'll give that a try. I hate dividing polynomials. It takes forever. Long division is just really complicated, and synthetic division is kind of easy, but I just don't understand it. It's like a magic box, but I don't get the magic. What can I do? Rachel, the rectangle, to the rescue. I have just the solution for you. Oh boy. It's the area model. Remember how you used it for multiplying? Uh-huh. Reverse the process for division. Wow, that makes so much sense. I really wish my students knew how to multiply and divide polynomials. My students are having so much trouble with factoring and completing the square. I just wish they had a better way to conceptualize it. Rachel, the rectangle, to the rescue. You all should attend this amazing professional learning workshop that the Orange Group has been carefully crafting over the past three weeks. Facilitators will show participants how to use the area model to multiply, divide, factor, and complete the square. This 60 minute long workshop will also include time for us to brainstorm ways that students make errors and have major misconceptions. And it will provide participants with time to reflect on their practice. Sounds good. Let's go.